you know, I grew up with cerebral palsy. I was born with it. And I always had exaggerated movements. Kids used to mimic me and laugh at me and call me names. And so at about age, I would say 13, 12 or 13, I became totally mesmerized with Carol Burnett. And I started writing her. And the reason Carol Burnett influenced me so profoundly was that people were laughing with her, not at her. And she was making fun of herself, but they weren't laughing at her. They weren't making fun of her. And I thought, that's what I want to do, because I knew that I would always get laughter. Let's face it, <laughs> I'm funny. I mean, even when I'm not trying, I'm funny. And so I, I kept writing Carol Burnett, and she always wrote me back. And she told me never to quit. To get that kind of nudge as a little kid, I don't think she realizes how isolated I was as a kid, how much that meant to me. I mean, I can remember when I was in high school, and I, I would carry her letters in my back pocket to classes because it was like, God, I got a letter from Carol for that. Laughter has been very therapeutic in dealing with my circumstances. I performed at the second annual Media Access Award, and that night Norman Lear was in my audience, and he just was blown away and was laughing. The portrayals of people with disabilities in the media definitely influenced society. When you consider that I only did 12 episodes of Fact of Life, that's it. Yet people will never forget Cousin Jerry.